Hello and welcome back to episode 23 of Unknown to World Known. We're back today with Everton once again. And we have got a very tough challenge in the Champions League. It's not been long since you were last with us. We beat Newcastle 2-0. We beat Aston Villa 1-1 on penalties. That didn't make a lot of sense. We beat Aston Villa on penalties after a 1-1 draw. We then drew 1-1 with Brentford, beat Sheffield United 2-1. However, we lost 2-0 to PSG before beating Brighton 2-1 in the league. It does mean we've got to come back for a second time in this Champions League campaign from 2-0 down against a team that's probably one of the best teams in the competition. This time, obviously PSG, whereas last time we did it against Bayern Munich. And then we've got an FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea, so it's a pretty important episode. In the league, we are top by four points. Chelsea have had a couple of slip-ups recently. I think, if I remember correctly, they had yeah a loss to West Brom and a loss to Newcastle, which has meant we've been able to capitalise. We're currently in top spot. If we win in today's game against PSG, we will be playing a replay of the Champions League final from last year against Inter Milan, this time in the semi-finals. But there's a lot to be done. Our lineup today, we've got Belgic in goal, a back four of Lopez, Raul, Bevis and Johansson. Rice and Ravella in midfield. Rankin, Talignani and Raul Moro behind Satriano up front. Big night here. We are the away team for this game as well. Like and subscribe. Leave your comment for the score prediction down below. We start off with a highlight from the back. Lopez plays it forward to Rankin and then back to Ravella. Ball down the wing to Lopez, who's got a bit of space here. Gets the ball in behind Satriano, who hits the post. What a start that would have been. Now PSG are going to try and get it away. Kimmich to Bakiri, and they have managed to clear it away. We've got another highlight here, though. Lopez plays it short to Talignani. Ravella to Vranken. Tries to find the ball to Raul Mauro, didn't manage to do so. Then Donnarumma goes long towards Greenwood, who's took it past our defender. Rounds the key. That's game over. That's uh, that's that's the end of our Champions League run, unfortunately. And I mean, it was a little bit too easy here. What is Raúl thinking? Trying to bring that down on his chest it was never going to be a good idea. Ravella on the ball in midfield sends it out to Vranken on the right hand side, back to Lopez, and he loses the ball to the other Lopez. Very poor way to go about that. Rice to Ravella. And then back to Raul. Across to Bevis at the other centre-back. Then knocks it behind him to Rice. Raul Morrow switches the play towards Frank. And Nuno Mendes has it covered off. And then again PSG far too easily. Able to play out from the back through Donnarumma. Kuhn on the ball here goes over the top. This time Raul not going to mess around with it. Lopez back out to Ravella. Telling Danny to Franken. Ball through to Satriano in space. Needs to finish this. He does finish it. It's 1-1 on the night. It's 3-1 on aggregate. Not going to get anywhere near excited. However, a goal's a goal. And it gives us that little bit of a fighting chance. As small as it may be. A very nice finish from Satriano there. At halftime, it's not looking great for us. We're going to have to... Find something magical in this game. I, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, in the interest of trying to make something happen, we're going to go to the 4 triple 2 Tabakaru coming on at 4, Talignani. And we're going to go to the Gagan Press. It's worked in my offline se series as Manchester United. So let's see what happens here. 10 minutes to go. Let's be honest. Basically game over. We're going to bring Kosa on for Real Morrow. And we'll also send Larin on for Ravella in the middle of the park. Chiesa with a corner kick for PSG. Goes to the far post and Barella ends it. 2-1 on the night for PSG. 4-1 on aggregate now. We are out of the Champions League at the quarterfinal stage. I will say, I think last year was a little bit of... Um, we just had all the momentum rather than us being the best team in Europe. We just kept grinding through 
And I think this year it's caught up with us a bit, particularly because we played Bayern Munich and PSG in the first two knockout rounds. Unfortunately, we are out. However, we've still got an FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea to play. And if we win that, we could still pick up a double. And the lineup for the game against Chelsea, we've got Belgian in goal. This time the back four includes Wagner and Jimenez as the fullbacks. Talignani and Ravella in midfield. Then Nagel moves into the number 10, replacing Talignani. And Tabakaru comes in up front. This game is a pretty big one because obviously it could swing momentum in the league as well when you think about it because we've still got to play Chelsea. Hopefully, we win today. Well, we're approaching half-time, and so far, we've not had any highlights. Their goalkeeper does have a bit of a knock, though. I don't know if he had that coming into the game. Half-time has been reached. It's nil-nil, and we've had no highlights. I hope the second half is more interesting for you, and for me. Well, so far, things aren't going in our favour in terms of things getting more interesting. Laren is going to come on for Franken. And I'm also looking at Lopez can come off for Satriano. Less than 10 minutes to go. We have our first highlight. Fafana plays the ball forward. It's out to Mount on the left-hand side now. He cuts it back to Anez. And then back to Mount inside to Bellingham. He exchanges the ball a few times. He gets a shot off. Cracks the bar. Very nearly. A late goal for Chelsea. However, was that just as getting uh, one highlight of the game? We are going to be going to extra time here at Wembley in what stats-wise doesn't look too bad. Highlights-wise has been probably the worst FA Cup game you've ever seen. Coast is going to come on in midfield. Then Larin will drop back, bringing Ravella off. So Coast is now in the attacking midfield. We have a highlight. Larin plays it to Nagel. To Satriano on the left-hand side. Switches it out towards Wagner but not able to find him. Now Chelsea have a chance here. Long ball finds Didier. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, sort of. Oh my goodness, somehow it's bounced around and ended up in Belgic's arms. I get the feeling the penalty shootout's going to last longer than the highlights we get in the game. Kosa plays the ball back to Raul. That's unless this results in a goal for us. Laren is bringing it out from sort of the back. Tabakara has given the ball away very cheaply. However, we've won it back. We've then given it away very cheaply again through Tabakaru. His passing is uh, questionable today. Wagner and Raul exchange the ball. Long ball forward towards Tabakaru. He nods it on, but not... Oh, no, it was Fofana headed it away, actually. Down the wing to Havertz on the right-hand side. Ball inside to Didier, and he puts it over the bar. We've been let off a bit there a couple of times by Didier. And you can see the injuries starting to stack up. There's three Chelsea players currently injured and one of ours. We are going to penalties. Less than ideal. Satriano is going to step up first. The chance to swing momentum in our favour. At the very start of this shootout, he does exactly that. Good start. Mount is going to step up for Chelsea. Not their recognised striker, which is interesting. Is that a sign that their striker doesn't want to take a penalty? Possibly. However, Mount... Puts it straight down the middle and levels the game up. Nargle is up next. Obviously playing the full 120 minutes here. Puts it into the bottom corner. Very nice penalty. I don't know who will be playing in the final. If, if we get there, obviously. Havertz steps up. He's got an injury. And Belgic makes the save. Big moment in the tie. Tavakaru. Please take advantage of that fact. Steps up and just about takes advantage. We put the pressure on to Chelsea now. Bellingham is up next. He's not one of the players who's got a knock, but he steps up. Belgic. Oh, Bellingham puts it wide. That means we are potentially one penalty away from an FA Cup final. It's going to be it's Bevis. Our centre-back stepping up. Oh. oh, no. That's uh, that's not a good thing. We've still got three penalties where we can seal it here. Hello is up next for Chelsea. Finds the bottom corner. That's Helio, not Hello. 
<laughs> and our second, uh, no, our, our third attempt to win this penalty shootout, Jimenez, the left back, steps up. And he, oh my goodness, we're going to bottle it. We're not going to go to the FA Cup final, are we? This is this could be absolute disaster. Beldrich versus Fafana. Right, our defenders have missed their penalties. Chelsea keep that run going. Ah, oh, no. Larin's going to be up next. I can't believe this has happened. Larin steps up. Lovely penalty from him. However, as we know, the pressure's still on now. At least at this point, we're always putting the pressure on Chelsea. Raul steps up, uh, finds the bottom corner. It's going to be Talig Nani, a guy who's been pretty consistent for us, I would say. Steps up, lovely penalty. But can we keep it up? Who's coming up next for Chelsea? It's Reese James. He's got a knock. The last player who had a knock missed his penalty. Ah, oh, Reese James does not. Raul up next. Our centre backs, uh, well, our defenders don't have a good record. Raul does, however, find the corner. This is a pain because every time it's a deciding penalty, I have to speed it up so that they're not walking forever. Monson steps up, finds the bottom corner. This could have been all been over. We had four attempts to end the shootout after five penalties. Kosa steps up, finds the bottom corner. Instead, we are now at... Oh, wrong one. We are now at the ninth penalty taker. Didier steps up. Belgic with the save! We win on penalties. We are through to the FA Cup final. What a moment for Everton. Bouncing back from midweek disappointment. Don't know who we're playing in the final. We'll go and find out. And in the final, it will be Southampton. Who did they beat to get into the final, you ask? Tottenham on penalties. Two nil nils. Hopefully that doesn't continue to the FA Cup final. So there you have it. Our FA Cup final will be the week before the Premier League finishes. Both games against Southampton. We will be back with those two games unless we can win the Premier League prior to that. That Chelsea game could mean we need to come back a game early. Imagine that. We beat Chelsea to result in us being in a position where if we even get a point at Anfield, we are champions. That would be delightful if you ask me if you think we can win the domestic double please do leave a like down below comment your prediction for the fa cup final subscribe if you are enjoying the content and thank you very much for watching